I lost my virginity when I was 16 years old, and I'm gonna tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Now first, a little context. I was a junior in high school, and I had been with this girl for about, I think, three months by the time we first started having sex. But before that, I was a porn addict. I used to jerk off multiple times a day, even when I was with this girl, and although she was the reason why I got a NoFap in the first place, it didn't last. So, like I just said, porn addict since 11 years old. The first time I had sex, it sucked. That's not what you expect to hear. But porn had ruined my perception of what sex was going to be like. I thought it was going to be this great grand thing, you know, I was going to be out there for like 40 minutes just going crazy. But no, it sucked. She didn't like it. I didn't like it. And luckily, I was fortunate enough to lose my virginity to somebody who was also losing their virginity to me. And we both will have that experience of not really liking it, not really enjoying it. Now, I would love to hear from somebody who's a bit older, somebody who didn't grow up watching internet porn. The first time you had sex, was it more pleasurable? I feel like our society puts way too much value on being a sexual degenerate. Now, listen, I think sex can be a great thing, especially if it's with somebody that is you, that you love that you think you can marry that is special to you. But for some reason, we do not place value on it anymore. We tell young men and young women too to go get fucked as much as possible. Get those body counts up. You know how many times I've heard women like talking to this guy and she's talking to this guy and this guy and this guy. That happens everywhere all the time. And guys are the same way too, bro. It's like, come on, man. Like you're not talking to any girls right now. You're not doing nothing with no girls right now. Like what's wrong with you? We put so much value as a society on being degenerate about sex. And I think that is the complete wrong way to approach it because I've approached it with both mindsets. The degenerate way, like trying to get as much bitches as possible, trying to get my nut off as quick as possible, or the loving way, trying to build a connection with somebody, trying to build a lasting relationship that can hopefully last for the rest of my life with somebody. And let me tell you, matter of fact, you tell me, what do you think is better? A bunch of instant gratification pleasure a bunch of girls or one person you know you know what is better for you now why even talk about this I feel like there's a lot of pressure on young men especially to just sleep with as much women and I kind of want to take that pressure off of your shoulders and tell you bro it's okay to not sleep with 40 different girls it's okay to not be a hoe it's okay to just focus on improving yourself right now. Actually, it's imp imperative that you focus on improving yourself right now, moving up in life, doing better, more gym gains, more meditation, more reading, more knowledge. That way, when the time comes, you can attract wife-quality women. Because these low-quality women that you'll be attracting when you're talking to a bunch of women, because they're all low-quality, high-quality women, will not go sleep around. They all have one thing in common and that one thing is you won't be able to grow with them and I've learned this the hard way man I mean one of my exes was so bad she wouldn't even let me go to the gym because if I went to the gym she would say I'm not talking to you for the rest of the day me wanting to work out and improve myself she wouldn't allow that she made me I was working two jobs she made me quit one of my jobs I suffered because of this girl. Why? Because when we met, I was a degenerate. I was still drinking. I was. Still, I got high like the second week into our relationship. I was still doing stupid things. Even before I got with her, I was talking to other girls at the same time. She got with a degenerate man and I got treated like shit and I deserved it. And I want to spare you from that. So listen, if it comes between getting with a degenerate woman that you cannot save, and rem and I've learned this the hard way and from the, the way of the superior man, great book, if you haven't read it, read it. You can't make a woman want to change. She has to want to change. If she wants to change, and you meet when you're both degenerate, and you both change and grow together, that is perfect, bro, because living in a relationship like that will take you so, so far. But if she's a degenerate and you want to be this self-improvement, like, go, you want to improve your life, she isn't worth it because she doesn't want to change she does it when you make her but the moment you're not around you guys are having a fight she's going to go back to her old habits every single time just know it's okay to be a virgin and it's okay not to idolize being a sexual degenerate
I hope this video has lifted some sort of weight off your shoulders, provided you with some sort of value and comfort. Continue to grow, be on self-improvement, make yourself better, make yourself more attractive. Don't be the greasy fat Discord mod. <laughs> no offense, but treat yourself with value. People do not treat themselves with value. They fuck anything. Women are the same way nowadays. Some women are the same way. Some men are the same way. Don't sleep with degenerate, bad women. Don't sleep because you want to get your nut off. and It's basically social masturbation. You're not gaining anything from it except for the experience of it. It is at a point, at a certain point, like I've mentioned, that the experience just gets bad and you do not want to keep having that experience anymore. At a certain point, you want to forget those experiences. So, and it sucks because it's like, yeah, I would love to, for, I would love to forget it, you know? <laughs> like, they were bad experiences, but I just can't. And I want to prevent you from that. So make sure when you have sex that it's with somebody who isn't a hoe, that isn't slept around with 40 different guys before they sleep with you, and it's somebody that you genuinely care and love and want to see grow, even if the relationship, you know, doesn't work out. And this is, as long as you think that you're going to be together for a long time, don't sleep with them. And this was my personal rule. If I can't go out and say, hey, hey, that's my girlfriend. Like, I can't say that you're my girlfriend and you freak out about it. Like, I didn't actually, like, properly, like, ask you out. Like, we're not, like, official boyfriend, girlfriend yet. Then I can't sleep with you. And my principle is you can't be dating somebody unless you plan to marry them. Now, of course, you want to, like, feel the water. You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, you're not going to, like, date a girl one week and then be like, all right, I'm going to marry you. But, you know, a few you're dating for marriage for the rest of your life. That's exactly how I think it's intended. That's exactly how I think you should approach it because it's so beneficial if you get the right person. And honestly, it is so negatively impacting to your mental health, your physical health, any, everything to get with a, a ton of women. And that's coming from me. You know, I went through periods where all I wanted to do was talk to as many women as possible, get in as many women as possible's pants. You know, I went through my like hoe phases and it just never turned out the way you wanted it to. So now I'm going to end off with a prayer. You're welcome to join me if you don't want to. Good luck. I know that I'm still going to pray for you. <laughs> Hello, Lord. I just want to say I love you and just thank you for the person watching this video. Hopefully they still have their virginity and are waiting for marriage. I, although that's very unlikely in our new society. Hopefully, you can guide them in, into your light and be there for them and just aid them with lust and these sexual battles. Matter of fact, aid, aid me and aid anyone who's praying with me right now, if there's anyone praying with me right now. I, uh, I love you, Lord. Amen.